So one hour after the flow disclosed this latest bug on Hacker One, I released this tweet and I said, interesting, another 10K bounty. Now I haven't spoken about this just yet, mainly because I was trying to investigate and to see what I believe this is going to affect. And I'll just say it right now, I absolutely believe this is only going to affect the PlayStation 4 on 11.50 and basically under. This will not have anything to do with the PlayStation 5. Now, if we go ahead and we just take a look at the PlayStation bug report, we can see that at this point now it was resolved three days ago. It was obviously by the flow and it was a $10,000 bounty. We've done this many times when we go in here and we go to the reward section and we see that this is a high bounty which means that this more than likely is going to be some sort of kernel exploit. Now again, that could or could not be it. Going back to the original page here, one thing that we absolutely do know is, is that when Sony resolves these, it absolutely means that it is patched. This has happened multiple times, and we can see this one. Obviously, it was saying it happened three days ago. And then if we just jump over to the PlayStation 4 section here, we can see that right here we have 11.52. And again, it does have this message. We've made some security fixes to the system software, which you could say that that is exactly what this is. And I do believe that. This 11.52 is obviously where they have went ahead and patched it. But if you are on one of these versions, such as 11.50 or 11.02, then I believe that you do have a jailbreak that is going to be coming to you. Now, if we do look at the PlayStation 5 and what it says for their latest release, we can see it is 9.60. Obviously, there isn't any mention to the security stuff in there, and obviously it was in the PlayStation 4 one. So I'm just going to continue to believe right now that if you do want to take advantage of this, you really will be able to as long as you are on 11.50 and on. Now, with any of these, I do like to see kind of what the community has been saying yeah you know, there's a couple of different things or uh, questions wondering which playstation it is for which i believe i have answered that now so definitely not the playstation 5 and then yeah there's this comment which i absolutely uh do not understand because it is only ten thousand dollars which is absolutely pennies in sony's eyes of course there's people that always updates Always stay on the very lowest firmware that you can in order to jailbreak in the future. Now, jumping back over here to the Reddit thread where folks are interesting that this is that they said interesting 10K is for high severity bugs, which is exactly what I just pointed out just a moment ago. And here is the message referring to you know bug bounties that cost them millions you know here's ten thousand yeah and when the next one comes along because we're too cheap to find them ourselves so definitely some interesting viewpoints in there about the 10k bounty now if we scroll down a little bit there was this interesting piece and it was remember you know it took about six months for it to have a functional jailbreak so expect a similar eta and yeah, that's about right. From the time of disclosure until the time that we all get it, you are going to be waiting for a little while. So I would keep that in mind. And yeah, the rest of this is basically just talking about what versions that they think that it is. Again, this one right here, PS4 11.50, jailbreak probably. And this is what I agree with. So anyway, I'm not going to take any more of your time for the day. Thank you so very much for watching. And let me know down in the comments. What do you think? Am I right? Am I wrong? I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out.